Hello, everyone. 82.596 million cases worldwide. First off, and I know this has been out for a couple days now, I just have yet to speak on it. Hilaria Baldwin, Alec Baldwin's wife, faked her identity all these years. She was actually born Hillary Hayward Thomas in Boston. And it seems to be upsetting the both of them now. Bunch of backlash. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Alec. And this is interesting, because Alec makes fun of Trump on SNL, and now he's saying, Oh, y'all don't need to make fun of Hilaria or, or Hillary. You don't need to make fun of it. He's just lost it. This is the first time we've seen him like this, though, honestly. Uh, uh, Luke Letlow, U.S. Republican House of Representatives elect from Louisiana, died last night due to complications of COVID-19. He was only 41 years old. This has to be a hard time for a Republican Congress, Republican House of Representatives, anywho. Because Mitch McConnell said a majority leader... He blocked the two thousand dollars stimulus bills. Ooh, and I refuse to put partisan politics into this. This is simply about American people who need money, who need relief during this pandemic. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, it's bad. It's bad. Mitch McConnell isn't helping the American people. Uh, yeah, yeah, and I have more news. Uh, that variant in the UK, that variant that's 70% more contagious than the main variant, has been found in the US. It's been found in Colorado. And it's already spreading. We know it is already spreading in the United States. Hopped out a plane from the UK or something and came to the United States just like it did with the original variant. Although the original one wasn't from the UK. I think it was from South Korea or something. Either South Korea or Iran. Uh, <laughs> yeah, because, you know, we had some conflicts with Iran earlier this year. I'll talk more about that crap tomorrow, though. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's just gonna spread. The cycle's gonna start all over again. These vaccines, they aren't getting distributed fast enough. Some top doctors are saying that at this rate, it could take years to get everyone vaccinated. But let's think about it for just a second. Just over 2 million Americans have received their first dose alone. And the vaccines have been out for two weeks. Pfizer's anywho. Uh, and yeah, so that would mean 50, because 2 million for two weeks, that's a million a week, 52 million a year. And this is just for the first dose. It would take six and a half years or so for everyone to get their first dose. If it's 2 million, if it's, if it's a million doses a week, then for the second dose, altogether, it's going to take over 13 years to get everyone vaccinated. Little less than that, because some aren't going to want it. But at that rate, we wouldn't get back to a normal life until at least 2032. 12 years, 11, 12 years from now. That's, oh, man. It's not good. That's not what we want. Biden is pledging to vaccinate a million a day? I, I just, how? How, you know? This, you know, how is he going to do it? How is he going to roll out the vaccines into people's arms? How? Uh, yeah, it's bad. It's bad. It's just freaking horrid. It's going to get worse, you know. Uh, Los Angeles County, their cases have grown 989%. Almost 1,000%. So it's horrible over there. 
so horrible that they're shutting down movie and TV production again. Well, this hasn't been official for most yet, but you know, uh, that's what guidance from LA County Health Department says for film and TV shows to pause production. And that's what CBS uh, production just announced this morning uh, uh, with five TV shows, including NCIS, NCIS Los Angeles, SEAL Team, all for CBS, something for CBS All Access, and then another thing for Disney+. Plus. Oh, pausing production on those shows. Other TV companies, other movie production companies, other streaming companies, they have uh, reviewed the decision. They have reviewed the, They are currently reviewing the situation. I haven't seen any other uh, studio go public with their decision, though. And they're only delay at CBS, they're only delaying their production by a week for the winter hiatus. So instead of returning to production January 4th, they're going to return to production January 11th. Right when other TV shows are returning to production. So. Yeah. It's only a week right now, but trust me. If this situation is anything like the situation in March, a week is going to turn into two months within a couple of days. Honestly. Just like Luke Letlow. He was admitted into a hospital December 19th. And then his situation worsened. Two or three days before he died, he uh, was uh, transferred to an ICU where he died. At just 41 years old. This virus just doesn't care. It will kill perfectly healthy people with no underlying health conditions in their 30s. And it'll go younger than that, honestly. The influenza virus back in 1918 was most vulnerable to people between 20 and 40. Not the young, not the old, 20 and 40. Man, and we're seeing, it's killing the old, that's what it started with. But that it got younger and younger, it's killing some children. Gosh darn it. Some of them might be perfectly healthy. We don't have too much information on that, but... <sighs> Our situation is just horrible. Our situation worldwide is just very horrible, you know? Cases, deaths, hospitalizations rising. McConnell's not letting a bill pass. Oh, man. Vaccinations are slow, which, yeah, that, that was no surprise to me. None of this is a surprise to me. I've seen everything. It's just, it's just bad. Just because it's not surprising doesn't mean that it's not absolutely horrible. Because it is absolutely horrible. All right. Subscribe to my channel. I have got to go now. Bye.